Hi and welcome everybody. Today we're doing a video request on Microsoft Excel 2016. The request comes in from Bananas01. Hi Mr. Morgan, can you do a video on how to do a histogram on Excel Chapter 4 Case Number 2? Okay, so histogram charts. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that on Microsoft Excel and let's go ahead and get started. So. Today we're going to be looking at basically uh, circuit re uh, realty. So these are all different houses here and you'll see it's a pretty long list of houses that are up for sale. And so what I want to do is basically analyze this data and I want to analyze it by price, which is this column here in column H. And so what I'm going to do is this is all on a table here. First thing I want to do is select the entire table. Now I recommend selecting the table in this fashion. Okay. You could either click on the beginning of the table, go over to column H and go all the way down. That might take you a while though, especially if it's uh, let's see, how long is this one? 185 rows down, right? So that's going to take a while to go across. So what I recommend doing is holding down shift and control and pressing right. That'll take you to the column in the furthest most right cell of the or column of the table and then press down. Okay, so hold down shift and control and press right and then press down and that'll take you to select the whole table. Then I recommend going back up to the top of the table because remember if I insert a chart, it's going to insert that chart based off of wherever I'm at on my Excel spreadsheet. So I go back up to the top. I see that I have all of my data selected. Now we're going to insert the histogram chart. So let's go to the insert tab. You'll always find all your charts in there and then you look under the chart group and then we see all these different types of charts. The one I want you to look at is the one with the four blue bars. It says insert statistic chart. Once you click that, you're going to see two options, histogram and box and whisker. All right, histogram is right here. And then we see this one is another option, but we're going to go with histogram. And basically this uh, shows the distribution of data uh, of the data grouped into bins, meaning we have our price column in column H. I'm basically going to show you how to break down these house prices in um, for all of these listings. So if I click on histogram right here, it's going to bring open a histogram chart. First thing you want to do, take a look at your chart, make sure it's analyzing the data that you want to. So on this chart here, I want it to analyze the data that is in the price column here. Now currently, we see that down here it looks to be numbers that are much smaller than a price. So I see right here in the red it's showing me age. I, I'm actually looking at the age here so I don't want that. So I'm going to take the top right or top left of this red box which shows the data that I'm analyzing and I'm going to click and drag that over to price. And now we see now just price is being selected. Okay, so first thing you have to do, make sure you're actually analyzing the data that you want to analyze. Okay, now most of the time I don't keep histogram charts on the same chart that I, or on the same spreadsheet that I'm currently on. So I'm going to move the chart. So I'll show you how to do that now in the chart tools design tab. If you go over here to the location group, you can actually move the chart. I've already created another spreadsheet that I want this chart to go in. So right here where it says object, I'm going to change this to summary and that's going to move it over to that summary sheet. Okay, so now I'm over here on the summary sheet. I could just go ahead and move it to wherever I want it to be. And now first thing I want to do is I'm going to change this chart title. So I click in it once and I'm going to call it home prices. As I type home prices, we see that that is what displays there after I click away. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to edit the way this chart looks and how the bins are distributed. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to extend out this chart so that I could actually see the data a little bit easier. And so now I see all of the numbers and these are the housing prices that we're looking at right now. All right. So here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to change um, the scale and see how this works over here with this vertical scale. So right now, if I click on this, it says zero down here and 60 up here. Let's say that I just want the highest number to be 50. So I'm going to double click on that and that's going to open up the format axis pane right over here. And I'm going to change my axis options to be 50 for the maximum. Okay. And now you'll see that 50 is now the highest number in the vertical axis. The next thing I want to do is I want to set the number of bins to six. Okay. And so right now, all of these different uh, objects here are called bins and you can see they're highlighting, right? So right now I think we have about nine of them. So if I click right here on my horizontal axis, this will give you your bin options. Okay. And so I could actually set the 
number of bins right here to a custom number. So I'm going to change that from 8 to 6 and I press enter. And now you see that it's currently set to 6 bins. And I'm going to just decrease the size of this just a little bit so we can see it all on screen. All right, so now we see the six bins are displayed, all of my figures are displayed. Now the last thing I wanna show you how to do is still with the bins option selected under axis options, I want you to keep in mind, you could actually set the numbers for the minimum and maximum. So if I wanted to say, look at all of the homes that are over a value of 350,000, 350,000, I could actually do that right over here in the overflow bin. So any number above 350,000, if I type that in, is gonna be displayed right over here, okay? And then I could actually also set the smallest bin number. So I want this to be under 150,000. So right here, I click on underflow bin, and I change that to a custom set of numbers as well. So now we see that the bins are distributed more evenly with all of our homes that are under uh, 150,000 right here, 150 to 200, 200 to 250, 250 to 300, 300 to 350, and above 350,000 right there. So what was originally this data right over here that was pretty complex and we couldn't really figure out how to uh, summarize it, we put it into a histogram chart, which makes it a lot easier to take a look at how the distribution of home prices on that data looks. So I hope that that helps explain a little bit about histograms for you, uh, Bananas. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you guys uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. I have a lot of tutorials on Microsoft Word, Excel, Access, and soon to be PowerPoint. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you to hope that you tune in tune in again soon.